Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 now official with significant improvements in tow. After announcing the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 earlier this week, the company has decided to surprise us once more with the release of the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3. Unlike the 8 Gen 3, this chipset is made for the mid-range devices in the market, so you can expect some stellar performance from it as it brings a number of improvements under the hood that will help with the performance. The Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 is a promising mid-range chipset that will power devices ranging from $400 to $600. The Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 is fabricated using the 4 nanometers TSMC process, which means you are getting top tier experience. You get an octa-core CPU that has one Cortex-Tex4 running at 2.8 GHz, four Cortex-A720 cores running at 2.6 GHz, and three Cortex-A520 refresh cores that are running at 1.9 GHz. Qualcomm claims that the CPU is going to deliver a 15% performance boost when you are comparing it with the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2. Sadly, during the release, Qualcomm did not specify the GPU that was found inside the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3. However, the company claims that the GPU is 45% faster than the one found in its direct predecessor, which means that if you are a gamer, you should not really have any issues with the graphical performance. The Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 does bring super resolution support in games, frame interpolation, and 120Hz support while running at QHD+. You also get on-device generative eye support. The company has talked about how the chipset supports Gemini Nano. However, considering the mid-range nature of the CPU, I would advise not to expect the same level of on-device eye performance. The Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 is also great when it comes to cameras as it uses the same triple image signal processor as the one that is found in the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. This means that the chipset is capable of switching between three lenses. It also has support for up to 200 megapixel single sensor, 336 megapixel cameras, and real-time semantic segmentation in photos and videos. Sadly, the chipset does not support 8K videos and maxes out at 4K 60fps HDR recording. You also get support for Google's Ultra HDR, as well as 240fps slow motion at FHD, and multi frame noise reduction is also found. In terms of network, the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 is using the Snapdragon X63 modem, which offers peak downlink speeds of 4.2 Gbps. There is also Smart Transmit for better reception and Power Save for saving power. There is also Fast Connect 7800, Wi-Fi 7 support with HB5 Multi-Link, and Bluetooth 5.4. Phones powering the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 will cost somewhere in the region of $400 to $600, which means that this is truly a mid-range chipset, and we are going to find it in several phones coming forward. The chipset is being touted as something that will be debuting in multiple regions across the world, so it will be interesting to see which regions and companies are using it going forward.